Yo, been here. Mosquito, let's get to it. Mosquito is a great open source MQTT broker. If you're not sure what MQTT is, you can check out my previous video linked here. Mosquito is nice because you can run it on your own device, like a Raspberry Pi, and so you won't be dependent on some cloud service like Cloud MQTT. And because it's internal, you don't have to worry about people snooping on your data so much as you do if you were to use a cloud service. Getting started with Mosquito is super easy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install, configure, and use it on a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian Jesse. If you have Home Assistant and installed it with the all-in-one script, Mosquito is already installed and configured by default, so you can skip these first couple of steps. To get started with Mosquito, the first thing we need to do is to open PuTTY and log into a Raspberry Pi. Once logged in, run the command sudo apt-get update. Then run the command sudo apt-get upgrade. Once that's finished, we're ready to install Mosquito. To do that, type sudo apt-get install Mosquito and then press enter. Then we'll run the command sudo apt-get install mosquito-clients. When prompted, press Y. Once installed, we'll need to change the Mosquito configuration options to match the options that we want. You can check the Mosquito website linked below for the list of available options. My typical configuration generally just involves using the default settings and then adding password authentication. To change the Mosquito configuration, type the command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash mosquito forward slash mosquito dot conf and then press enter. You might notice that it says place your local configuration into a different folder. You can do that if you want. Typically, I just delete the include directory line and paste what I want below the last line. I add the following options to the Mosquito configuration. First, I say allow anonymous false. This means you have to be authenticated to use the Mosquito server. Then I link it to a password file. Then I'll set listener to port 1883. That's the port that I'll use to access Mosquito. Once done, I will hit Control X and then Y and then Enter. If you installed Home Assistant with the all-in-one script, Mosquito is installed and configured by default. I just wanted to point out that this configuration file is going to look a little differently if you use the all-in-one script. This default configuration is pretty good, and the nice thing is you can just uncomment the lines you want to get the desired options. Now, we need to go ahead and create the username that can access the Mosquito MQTT server. To do that, I'll use the command sudo mosquito underscore passwd dash c, and then I'll link it to the password file, which is forward slash etc forward slash mosquito forward slash pwfile. And then on the end of all of that, I'm going to type the username I want to create. In this case, I'll just use username. Then it'll prompt you to create a password. You can make this anything you want, but I'll just use password. Now, there's one last thing we need to do. In order for these changes to be effective, we need to go ahead and restart the Pi. To do that, I'll use the command sudo reboot and then press enter. Once your Pi restarts, your MQTT server should be up and running. You can access it at your Pi's IP address at port 1883. One thing I just want to point out is that you're only able to access your MQTT server on your internal network. If you want to be able to access it externally, you're going to need to create a port forwarding rule just like you do with Home Assistant. This is a pretty router specific process, but this is what the port forwarding page looks like on my Linksys E4200 router. To verify that the MQTT server is working correctly, I'll use the Mosquito client software to view the messages that are on the MQTT server as well as to send test messages. To do this, I'm going to open two instances of PuTTY and connect my Raspberry Pi twice. The first thing I want to do is subscribe to an MQTT topic. To do this, I'm going to type the command mosquito underscore sub and then dash D, which stands for debug, and then dash U, and then the username I created, and then dash capital P, and then the password for that account, and then dash T, followed by the topic that I want to subscribe to. In this case, that's dev forward slash test. Then I'll press enter. Now, any message that's sent to that MQTT topic while you're subscribed will show up. 
This will continue to run until I press Control C to stop it. Next, I want to send an MQTT message. To do that, I'm going to use the command mosquito underscore pub, and then essentially the same message, but after the topic, I'll say dash M, which stands for message, and then hello world in quotes, and then I'll press enter. You'll notice that it immediately shows up on the left-hand side. That's great. That means that the message was sent successfully. Now, to add the Mosquito server to Home Assistant, you'll need to add the following to your configuration.yaml file. In the broker field, you'll need to type the IP address for the device running your Mosquito server. In this case, that's 192.168.1.142. Then, in the port field, I'll leave this at 1883. For client ID, I'll leave this to home-assistant-1. And then in the username, I'm currently using secrets, but I will change this to username and password so you guys can see it. You'll need to change that to whatever you set in the Mosquito server. Once done, go ahead and hit save, and then you can restart Home Assistant. In this case, I'll just say sudo reboot. Once your Pi restarts, you can go ahead and log back into Putty. Then, I'll go ahead and subscribe to the same topic we did last time, which is dev forward slash test, and then I'll hit enter. Now, I'll go to my Home Assistant user interface, and then I'll go to the services developer tool. Then, I'll click MQTT forward slash publish. From here, I'm able to publish an MQTT message inside of Home Assistant. For an example of the correct JSON syntax, you can try to interpret what's below the call services button. Or, if you go back to the MQTT components page and scroll down, they have a great example here. I'll go ahead and copy this and paste this into the services field. Then I'll change the topic to dev forward slash test. And then for payload, I'll say hello world. Then I'll click call service. And bam, it's sent. Yes, that's great news. That means our MQTT server is functioning correctly and Home Assistant can access it too. From here, you can set up just about any MQTT device to work with Home Assistant. So if you have a custom sensor, you can go ahead and add that. You're really only limited by your imagination. MQTT is a great platform for DIY projects because it's so easy to use and super reliable. Anyway, that's basically it. Getting started with Mosquito is super easy and it's a great broker to use around your house. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help as much as I can. Also, I'm sorry I didn't get a video out last week. The summer's always really crazy with work and different projects and just ran out of time. But I just got some new tech I'm super excited about, like the school new 3D printer. Stay tuned. Until then, happy automating. Cheers. The hard part is to look at the camera.